co-founders of EH Chocolatier here in Somerville. I'm Catherine Sweeney, and I'm the other co-founder of EH Chocolatier in Somerville. So basically, she and I didn't know each other. We had this mutual friend who uh, was getting married and asked each of us if we could make her wedding cake, and of which, you know, as it turns out, neither of us make wedding cakes, you know, back then. We had no experience in wedding cakes, and we're not exactly sure why she asked us to make this wedding cake. I liked wedding cakes. Right. So Catherine shows up at my house, and I'm like, oh, hi. So we we have this idea we're going to make this wedding cake, and of course, in our minds, we're thinking it'll be like a simple wedding cake, because we've never made wedding cakes. And then this friend of ours shows us this, um, you know, like, Martha's Vineyard Weddings, and it is literally this cake that's like from Montilio's. It is like six stories high, and it has like edible, you know, chocolate shells cascading off the top. I mean, it's kind of crazy looking, and kind of, kind of looking at each other, I'm just thinking, oh my god, this could be a nightmare. And so that was actually the beginning of our relationship, and so ultimately it turned out great. The cake survived. We actually had to get it to Martha's Vineyard in pieces. We made these um, really amazing, beautiful, edible chocolate shells, and um, and then over time, Catherine and I, we had two, we had different careers uh, before this. We would get together to do some food things, some catering things, some baking things, in addition to our regular jobs. And every holiday, we would do treats and things like that, which is sort of the classic story, yes. right? So basically, in 2009, Catherine was kind of at a point where she could kind of walk away from her work. She was all done, and I was pretty, I was very done with my work. And so I said to her, <laughs> we should start a business together. Yeah. And Catherine, like, had that, exactly had that look on her face. Say. She was like, business. And I said, yeah, we should start a chocolate business together. And she's like, business. And it's like, yeah, business. And basically, over like the course of like nine months or a year, um, I like sort of like fished her in. And while we were making <laughs> yeah. these chocolates for our friends and family, we were doing this friends and family program where we do a chocolate of the month club, just for fun, and yeah. also to figure out whether we could work together and you know work on our technique. Because a lot of what we do is just repetition and sort of paying attention to details. And so we did that for nine months, and it turned out to be a great experience. Like our um, you know our friends and family got a package once a month, so we figured out all the systems related to online ordering and shipping. Um, we figured out how to make the product. We worked right. on confections, that and yeah. And Catherine and I figured out by the end of the nine months that we are so different, <laughs> <laughs> which was very good. Yeah, <laughs> because so, my strengths are her weaknesses, and yeah. vice versa. And yeah, so it works out very well. It worked out very well. There's a lot that goes into chocolate making, and it, you know we have a pretty broad spectrum of products, so they can be very made very differently but one thing that we do for all of them is just it's detail to every ingredient so we like to get the best that we can afford of every ingredient um, and pay attention to how it is put together so um, we use different teas to infuse the creams that go into the ganaches um, spices we use to you know, for our, the nuts that go into some of the bases of our confections. Um, but it's just paying attention to every ingredient and the chocolate that we use. We use very good chocolate. Like I think for us when we make things, we don't make anything that we wouldn't, like that we don't love. I guess that's probably the best way to say it. So, because even though we do make things sometimes for customer requests, for the most part we're really making things that we really like. We like to have customers come right to us. Um, we're a little hard to find, but we're at 561 Windsor Street, and we're in Suite B, 206. Um, and if you can find us, it's well worth your while. We'll have a treat waiting for you.